But if we are going to hit our targets, we need another driver, a permanent one, and fast. But we are mid-season. It's impossible. So given the circumstances, do you think you can grant us a bit of leeway on the contract? I have the projections. If Connorsport doesn't reach fifth place in the constructors this season, the returns simply aren't worth my time. That was always the deal. And it still is. But with a little extra time, perhaps we... Stop! The deal stands. And without Devon driving, there's now little of interest for me beyond the contract. It's just business. There must be something we can do. So, legacy is obviously important to you, David. As a father, I, I totally get that. So if Devon, your son, can't drive, how about your daughter? Why don't we give the seat to Kelly? No. California will not be signed to Connorsport. Why not? Just... <laughs> just think of the commercial opportunities for the team that signs her, hmm? Forget legacy. <laughs> oh, we'd be... You'd be making history. And you'll be giving a phenomenal talent her first break into F1. It's the right thing to do. Come on, you know she deserves it. The daughter. Who took her mother's name to spite me. Nah, she'll never say yes. Why don't you leave that to me? Contract still stands, Ackerman. Fifth place, or I'm out next season. One problem at a time, eh? spoken to her yet? Yes, we've spoken. And what did you say? She'll be around this weekend. She agreed to come and see me. You mean you haven't asked her yet? Of course not. It's a delicate situation. Uh, I'm sure she has an idea, but... Uh, look, it's not just something you casually ask over the phone, is it? Why not? Come on. This is potentially life-changing for her. And the whole family situation needs to be handled with a little, you know, care and respect. Well, well, you're the one that knows her. Just make sure she says yes and fast. I'm finding it difficult to keep fielding questions about the future of Connorsport. Yeah, I read part of that interview. Could almost feel you squirm. That bad, huh? Worse. Look, I'll call you as soon as I know.
Welcome along, everyone, to sunny Spain, specifically to the circuit to Barcelona, Catalonia. So many great moments in Formula One history have been written at this very track over the years, including Michael Schumacher's first win for Ferrari back in 96. That win was in the rain. We might have better weather here today, but we're just as overjoyed to be at the Spanish Grand Prix. It's an updated track at Catalonia, and the popular opinion in the paddock is that we never wanted the chicane in the first place. That's now been gone, the final corner is much faster, and at 2.9 miles and 14 turns, we await the Spanish Grand Prix. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. A fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday, and it's put him on pole, edging out Sergio Perez, who lines up P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Russell, Norris, Hamilton, Gasly, Sainz, Oscar Piastri, Fernando Alonso, Sonoda, Joe, Sargent, Bottas, Magnussen, Ocon, Hulkenberg, De Vries, Jackson, Stroll, Albon, Stroll. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head down trackside for today's race. Welcome to the wonderful Catalonia. It's time for the Spanish Grand Prix this weekend. And whilst the season is just a few races old, it's already been one full of drama. So, Natalie Pinkham, who have you got your eye on this weekend? Well, in Formula One, naturally, the conversation is drawn towards those at the top of the standings, both drivers and teams. But I'm really intrigued by the midfield team of Connor Sport. Devon Butler's absence will definitely be felt. There's no doubt about that, both on and off the track. For me, the interesting thing will be how they move forward without him. Indeed, almost as many battles off the track as there are on it for Connor Sport at the moment. Kasper Ackerman and his team certainly have their work cut out for them this weekend. I know it's been a mad few weeks, mate, but you've always gone well here. So let's get your head down and see what we can do. Come on.
DRS, DRS now available.
approaching the pit window and you're going to be on medium. job. Tire condition still looking good. Front is 3.3 seconds. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross onto the track.
the pits. Noah is in the pits now. Okay, gap ahead is 3.4 seconds. Starting to catch the car in front, but we need to look after the tyres. We won't be making another pit stop.
we've got enough fuel for three more laps. the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. So it's Aidan Jackson propping up Connor Sport here today, but the big news off the track is the speculation about this team, whether or not they'll see out the season with their current lineup. Well, I think they'll have to sign a new driver, Crofty. It's a gamble worth taking. Well, the mid-season signing would get us all talking, I'm sure, but time will tell. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everybody at the team. Cotter Sport are in a bit of an odd situation right now. So just tell me, what is it like for you today? Yeah, uh, not so long ago, my teammate was Devon and um, we had a plan sorted out for the rest of the season. Uh, now it's Noah and uh, for the last couple of races, uh, suddenly nobody's quite sure what the situation is. I've never had to drive in this, this, this situation before, so it's all pretty strange, but you do what you can. Most importantly, how is Devon? And how are you finding it without your teammate? I honestly never thought I'd say this, but I, I do miss him. He brought a lot of energy to the team and it feels odd not to have him around right now. For the record, I'm not saying I like him. <laughs> he never let me hear the end of it, but he's missed at Connorsport, that's for sure. Well, there's a lot of talk about what happens if Devon doesn't return. Would Connor Sport be looking for a new driver, do you think? 
It's not for me to say, but I think it could be a real opportunity for the team to make an exciting signing. Uh, there's a lot of talent out there hungry for a shot in F1, and Connor Sport could find themselves in a perfect position to offer them one. That's great. Thank you. Hey, Casper, you wanted to speak to me? Yes, I did. Shoot. Uh, nothing major, really. Um, to be honest, I just wanted to thank you. Oh. What for? I'm, you know, just doing my job. No, it's more than that. Uh, well, I know why you stayed on the team. And, uh, well, I won't lie to you, it, it's not been easy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can say that again. Yeah, but you really stepped up. It's good for me to know that I've got someone like you to rely on. Always. Yeah. Look, Aiden, I'll warn you, things may not get any easier, at least not for a while, but... Um, well, we've got something in the pipeline, a potential new driver and a damn good one. Who is it? <laughs> I can't say, not, not yet. It's a bit of a gamble, but if they agree, we could have something special. Nice. And, um... How is Devon? Fine. I think... Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, Davidoff has closed the door on that one, but... Yeah, he tells me Devon is in a good place, though. Oh, that's good. That's good. Just you know, keep doing what you're doing, OK? And now, just get out of here. Of course. I'll catch you later, Casper.